Hey, guess what? I sold some stuff on eBay and other places. Let me tell you about it. As always, I'm going to tell you about a few solds on eBay and a couple from Macari. Uh, hope you learned something from it. And uh, tried a little experiment uh, I want to tell you about. And uh, didn't work out quite as I thought because of a factor I didn't consider. So let's get into some solds. First one I'm going to tell you about is this Harley Davidson uh, Road Glide model. It is a 1 and 18th scale die cast model. Uh, I got this from an online auction. Uh, I got a lot of different uh, Harley Davidson themed stuff. I got uh, an ornament, which uh, is in this sold too as well. Um, uh, a couple other things. And this is one of the things. Uh, so for the whole lot, I paid $23 or something like that. It was a local auction. So I was able to go and pick it up. So I didn't have any shipping involved in it. So broken up over the amount of stuff that was in the lot, uh, you know, it's uh, going to turn out pretty well because after these first two sold and some of the other stuff, uh, I'm going to make uh, quite a bit of money on it. So again, sold this one $14.99 plus the shipping. Mama always said, don't mess with Texas. And this hat even says it. Uh, I got this, I uh, believe, in a lot of hats at a yard sale last year, I believe. Um, so a big bunch, a lot of hats. Uh, I want to say if it's in the lot that I think it was in, I paid five bucks for about 15 hats. So very minimal cost of goods. It's a little bit of, a little bit of, I don't want to say damage because it's still in good shape, but the creasing there at the bottom of the bill uh, that you see uh, on the foam. But uh, the inside of it uh, was nice. Uh, the mesh on the back of it was in real nice condition. So uh, $13 plus the shipping. I sold this uh, model kit here. It's a F14 Tomcat model. This came from a Craigslist model bulk buy um, end of last year, uh, maybe or late part of the fall. Uh, bought about, uh, I want to say, uh, 11 or 12 models. Uh, and it was all military-style models, uh, planes. Uh, there was a couple tanks and things like that. I paid $25 for it. And I believe this was a... Uh, I kicked somebody out of my house and he left some stuff behind and I just want to get rid of it sale. Uh, anyways, so, uh, Sierra so took a, 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 had a listener for $50 and I took a best offer of $41. Sold these two Austin power voice box. Uh, they originally came out uh, when the first movie came out. Uh, the reason I know that is I actually personally bought these myself. Uh, I actually bought a lot of Austin power themes things when that movie came out. Cause I just, I had, had a thought that uh, this is going to be something pretty good, pr uh, pretty uh, collectible items and things like that. So I bought all kinds of Austin Power stuff. And I've been uh, slowly selling it. It didn't turn out the way that I thought. Um, I don't remember what I paid for these, uh, but I know I got paid $34.99 for these ones. Next thing that sold was this Transformer uh, Bumblebee. Uh, this is a new in the package. This was a Marshalls buy. I bought two of these at Marshalls for $2.00. Uh, a piece and uh, on the clearance rack. It got, uh, I sold uh, both of them already. And uh, this is the second one that sold. It sold the first one, I don't know, about a month, a month and a half ago. So it's uh, been a little bit of time. So this was the last one that sold and it got $18.99. Last week, I think I talked about this bulk buy of Magic the Gathering cards that I got. And uh, this was one that sold. Uh, this is one that came up as a good hit when I scanned it with that app I told you about in the last video. Um, so I sold this one, uh, nine, uh, about $9 uh, plus the shipping. Sold these uh, Easy Solar Lights. Uh, there was, it was a pack of 12. Uh, I've had these for a pretty long while. And uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, let me look here real quick. I believe I took an offer on these. Uh, I don't remember what I had them up for. But as you can see there, I sold them, took an offer for $31. I want to say I had them up for $30, $36.99 is what I had them for. So I took a $31 offer, one. Uh, because well, one is a good offer too. I've had them for a pretty long time, and it took up a lot of shelf space. So to sell it off, get it out of here, and plus they paid the shipping, uh, it, you know, freed up space, and it's a good offer. So that's why I took it. Another sale out of that Harley Davidson lot was this Hallmark ornament. Uh, again, uh, paid you know, uh, I believe twenty three dollars or something like that for a big lot of Harley Davidson stuff. And sold this new in the box Harley Davidson ornament for a nine ninety nine plus the shipping. Don't remember if this one was in the last week's episode of what sold, uh, but uh, I'll put it in here again just in case it wasn't. 
Uh, got this in a big lot of Matchbox, Hot Wheels, NASCAR, uh, new in the package stuff. Uh, and it was uh, two yard sale seasons ago. No, yeah, two yard sale. No, but the beginning of last yard, se yard sale season. Anyways, this one sold $15.99 plus the shipping. I've gotten back in touch with my roots of when I got into reselling, which was uh, reselling sports cards. Got this one out of a Target box that I bought. Uh, opened the packs and pulled. This is one of the pulls out of that pack. Uh, this is a Yardan Alvarez. Hope I said that name right. Uh, I put this one up for auction. Um, I believe I started the auction at, I uh, believe, $15.99, if I remember correctly. As you can see here, only got two bids on it, but still $20.50 plus the – oh, no, I did I did this free shipping. So uh, I don't sell sports cards on my main store. I, I sell it on a secondary store. And uh, so that's why if you look for these salts in my main store, you won't find them. Uh, I got some other cards I'm going to tell you about here. This is a uh, 2000 Flair Derek Jeter uh, Golden White. Uh, this is a, as you can see, this is what's known as a short print. There is only 36 of these printed, and this was number three. Uh, the only other comp I found on eBay uh, was um, for $200. Uh, however, it had the strike through on it, as you, you know, as you can see, which means somebody uh, took it on a best offer or sold it on a best offer. Uh, so I put mine up for a uh, hundred dollars. Um, again, I don't, uh, had not very much into it when you buy packs and all. And so, uh, I had it up for probably almost, uh, four or five months, uh, kind of got back and forth with this guy about, uh, uh, some, uh, he sent an offer. I countered, he sent an offer. I countered and, uh, the very last offer that was sent, uh, was, uh, something that we both could agree upon. So I sold this one card for $65. The card that sold was this Tim Duncan card uh, paid. Uh, uh, actually, I know where I got this card from. I got this from a auction, a YouTube auction from, I believe, Justin Jacobs. If you see him in any of the ch chats, uh, every once in a while, he'll pop in and do an auction on some other uh, other people's channels. And I believe I got this out of that box lot of his and um, actually have sold a lot of cards out of his. Uh, just uh, that was you know a number of months ago, but this is one that sold last week. So got $5 for this one, free shipping. The last sports card I'll talk about is this 2000 Topps Heritage Tom Brady card. Uh, it, not really sure. Uh, I believe there are many variations of this card, and this is the one that's most uh, or was a short print. It was most, most desirable uh, with the red background on both cards. So so this one, $8 with the free shipping. And you might say free shipping on sports cards the way that I do sports cards is I have a certain threshold. Anything $10 and below, um, what I usually do, I've got these little cards and envelopes, and I just put the card in it and uh, put a stamp on it and mail it. Not had any problems with it yet. That's the way that I've been selling sports cards for, I don't know, let's see, when did I start selling sports cards? I took a break there for a little bit. For, a, for the last year or so, that's how I've been selling sports cards. I hadn't had an issue with it. So this is the last sports card I'll talk about. I got some other types of cards we'll talk about here in one second. So these other cards have been selling. Back to these magic cards. Uh, I uh, tried an experiment um, and been uh, putting these uh, cards up, these ones that aren't really high-value cards but still hold a little bit of value. And, again, if you remember back, I paid like $40 for about 1,200 cards. So I've got pennies into most of these cards. And so – uh, what I'll show you here is a little graph here that I put together. Um, so the top portion of this little graph you'll see is uh, this is what my solds were. I sold, you know, $1.25, $2, dollars $4.25. So after all the auctions that I've had so far, uh, $21.35. Uh, again, pennies. Uh, I figured it's a, it's a little bit less than a penny, but we'll just round up to a penny. So $0.26 cents cost of goods brings my profit down to $21.09 or so. I paid about $4.95 in shipping because, again, with these cards, these low-value ones, these low-sell ones, put a stamp on it, send it out. All right, so, again, minus the shipping, uh, I got uh, $16.14 uh, uh, with the fees from PayPal and eBay. Uh, my fees were about $0.96 cents for that, uh, somewhere in that. I may have figured that wrong, but I'm pretty sure with the percentage eBay takes, the percentage that – uh, PayPal takes, that's what it comes about to, about 96 cents. So I made a profit of uh, $15.17. However, this little experiment failed. Um, 
uh, there was something I didn't factor in. And I want you to think about it. Think about like you'd say, well, you you know, spent 26 cents and made $15. How, how could that be bad? Um, there's one thing I didn't take into account. I'll talk about a couple other sales and then we'll come back to that and see if you can think about why I think this experiment uh, didn't go as planned. All right, some Macari sales here. Uh, this one was a Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story 4, uh, $15 uh, sold on it. Cost of good on this was $4.50. Uh, I got these on an online clearance from the big store that starts with the W. Uh, so I paid like $4.50 for them, uh, bought uh, a, a good amount of them. I, I believe I want to say I bought nine of them. So, uh, and I picked them up in store, so I didn't have a, uh, a ship thing. They shipped to the store, uh, waited for a little bit, and I finally got their uh, notification, went and picked them up. So I didn't really have any shipping, and because I paid, you know, above a certain amount, there was also free shipping as well. So, uh, you know, that's kind of helped me on my cost of goods there. So $15 sale on Macari for this one. Another Macari sale was this Pirates of the Caribbean exclusive set. Uh, I got this from a local discount store. Um, I paid uh, $3 for this. And as you can see here, uh, because I guess it's some sort of uh, super exclusive set, um, sold for $45. Last Macari sale was this Hydro Football. Um, bought these at the end of two summers ago. And uh, bought just, I think we bought three shopping carts full of them because they were a dollar at the big store with a W. Uh, we bought uh, footballs and volleyballs. There were all kinds of different color variations and just kind of slowly been selling them through. Uh, they took up a lot of space. We're down to like four or five left. I want to say we bought probably 30, 35 of them. Um, again, paid a dollar for each one of them. And we've been selling these anywhere between, uh, I believe, $9 and $15. And I believe this was an offer that was taken. So this one sold for $11. And of course, on Macari plus the shipping. All right, you had some time to think about it. Did you figure out why I think this uh, auctioning of Magic the Gathering cards uh, didn't go as planned? Well, I'm going to tell you what it is. This matrix right here. When you're a top-rated seller, you have to upload your uh, tracking for all your shippings. So I sold all of those cards, and all I did, put it in an envelope, wrote a little little note on, in a like a thank you card, put it in an envelope, stamp on the envelope, send it off on its way. No tracking. So now I've got a transaction defect rate of 97 because I did not load, I did not provide tracking for the cards that I just put a stamp on and send out. So if you look on this graph right here, you'll see that this only goes up to the 30th. And I've sold more cards after the 30th because right now here it is. Uh, the sixth uh, is when I'm shooting this video. So I have sold at least one every day. So that actual number is you know going to drop down when they put out the new matrix so didn't go as planned and still made good profit on it but my account's going to take a little bit of a hit of it is it that big of a deal i don't know uh we'll uh, we'll see i mean it it's one of those things that they say it's one of the things that helps that or that affects your algorithm so what I've done, uh, I've got some auctions still running that have bids on it. All the other ones I have ended. And what I'm going to do is take the rest of the ones that I have not put on auction yet, and I'm going to move it over to uh, another eBay store that I have that I'm not really concerned about transaction defect rates and, and, and shipping shipping things, uh, uh, you know, returns, all that stuff. Yeah, we're, uh, I care about that stuff. But as far as uploading tracking on time on that account, really not worried about it. So I'm going to take all of those low value uh, 99 cent auction magic cards and I'm going to move them over there. That way it affects that account and not really all that concerned about that and it won't affect my main account. So again, try things uh, you know, is part of this business. See, because uh, one of the things it did do and help me with is that it helped me have a sale every day, which helped my click through rate, my sell through rate. Sell through rate is when people visit your item or visit your store and they click on it and they view it, it's the rate in which they buy it. So that helped my, my that rate, which then helped pushes you up in the algorithm. But then of course my shipping uh, rate uh, or my shipping score dropped because of the way that I shipped it. So to me, it's not profitable to, uh, to uh, start an auction with free shipping at, with 
that that with the shipping rate already in, into effect of it because uh, there are other people on there that you know they they don't take this number into account or or they don't care about it or something like that. So that's why I still want to sell these cards. I want to move them over to the other account and still be competitive in that market. And it'll help drive traffic to that to my sports card store as well. So I hope you enjoyed this sold video. Uh, hopefully you learned something. Maybe uh, you saw something that you're like, hey, I've seen that before. And that way, you know, if you see it again, you'll know to buy it. So again, please help me out down at the bottom there. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. That way you know or notified about when I put out new content. All right, have a great day and be safe.